Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my 2023 TBR. <laughs> So that then at the end of 2023 i can look back and see how many of the books on my tbr i've actually read so i set myself a goal of 50 books because i read 50 books in 2022 however i would hope to read more than 50 books as kind of like progress even if it's just 51 instead of 50. basically my main goal is literally just to read as many books from my physical tbr as possible because last year i spent a lot of time reading online books and reading books not in my physical tbr so pretty much my whole bookcase is books that i have read so that's why i really want to try and get through my whole bookcase in 2023 so anyways i'm gonna dive into it first book that i would love to read is twisted love and then followed on by twisted games and twisted lies and twisted hate i don't have them books yet however i do plan on purchasing them i've heard really good things about the whole series and i really want to read them and i do think i'll like them and will read the whole series and i do like the fact that they're like standalones as well so i can read them separately i don't have to read them all in order okay so next is holly black the stolen air i've wanted to read this for the longest time and i'm really really excited it's just come out and i plan on purchasing it when it becomes paperback because your girl ain't buying a hardback the next book that i want to read is the good girl's guide to murder series i've wanted to read this for the longest time i literally bought all the books ages ago and i still haven't read it i've heard really really good things about it my mum's read it she said she loved it so yeah i'm really really looking forward to reading it and it would definitely be one of the book series i 100 percent read next we have the atlas six i think there's a sequel as well but i haven't got it i think the whole book series is going to be like six books next is the fine print and also terms and conditions and the third book the final offer which i haven't bought yet so i think it just came out and i want to wait till it's paperback i've heard that terms and conditions is significantly better than the fine print not really sure though next is the whole the summer returned pretty series i've watched the first season of the show and i really enjoyed it so i thought it would be good if i read the books i know i think the second season is coming out this year as well so yeah it would be really good to read these books so I'll probably read them in the summer at some point. Next is Real Reliers. I've heard very mixed reviews about this book. I've had a lot of people hate on it. I've had a lot of people love it. I'm one of those people. If there's loads of mixed reviews, I want to read it just to find out for myself. Next is Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Because I love Elle Kennedy because I read the off-campus series, but I don't love her. But I love her books. I love her work. <laughs> I know she's problematic. I found out, however, it is a series and, and I don't realise things are series. I buy a book one and then I realise there's like seven books to come after. Next, we've got Beach Read. I read Book Lovers in 2022 and I really enjoyed it. So I really want to read Beach Read. And that is the same with You and Me on Vacation, another book by Emily Henry. Really want to read that too. I really want to read the Shadow and Bone series. I wanted to read this for a while. Apparently, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are amazing. So I really want to start the Grishaverse. There is also the King of Scars, Ball of Wolves. And I think there's a Court of Thorns as well. I definitely want to commit to reading the whole Grisha First series because I've really wanted to read it for a long time. Next is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It is the prequel to the Hunger Games series and I love the Hunger Games series. It is a massive book, however. But apparently it is good and I know that the movie is coming out in 2023 so I thought it'd be good to read the book before I watch the movie. Okay, so next is the Corrupt series. Now, I don't know whether I will just read a Corrupt or whether I will continue to read the rest of the series. I haven't decided yet. Obviously, it depends on how much I like it. I've heard very, very mixed reviews about it, but I, at the end of the day, it's been on my TV for a long time. So I am going to start Corrupt. If I like it, obviously, then there will be the following rest of the books. Hideaway, Kill Switch, Conclave, Nightfall, and Fire Knight. But essentially, I could just read Corrupt and none of the rest if it's a bad book. So next is the American Roommate Experiment. Because I read the Spanish Love Deception and really, really loved it, I definitely wanted to read Elena Armas's newest book. Then I've got the cheat sheet. I've heard really good things about it. Apparently, it's a really good friend to lovers, and sometimes that's all you need. Apparently, it's really funny as well. So, next on my 2023 TBR is The Unhoneymooners. My friend read it, she said it's a pretty good book, but I have heard mixed reviews about it, and apparently, the love interest you will hate. Then, we've got the flat share and the road trip. I bought normal people ages ago. I've only just recently heard that apparently it's super boring. Also, up, what is this cover? Because it's really weird. Then, we've got a brush with love. Honestly, I just don't even know much about it i just saw it it was like three quid and i was like why not then josh and hazel's guide to not dating another christina lauren book so then we've got the midnight library apparently it's pretty boring and just weird i don't know but 
I'm gonna try. Then we've got the handover. Most of the times so I'll probably read like the lighthearted, easy reads in between the difficult fantasy reads. So that's why I like a mix of both. Then we've got Daisy Jones and the Six. So I didn't love Seven Husbands of Evelyn, so I'm not sure whether I will love this, but I've heard people say good things about it. Then we've got It Happened One Summer. Heard really amazing reviews about that. My friend has read it, said it's amazing. I really, really wanna read this and I have high expectations for it. Then we've got The Soulmate Equation, another Christina Lauren book. Then we've got Eight Perfect Hours. Then the last book in my 2023 TBR is The Darkest Part of the Forest. Bought this ages ago. I was gonna read it after the modern fairy tales, but because I was kind of disappointed by it, I didn't really feel like reading it, but I definitely wanna give it a go and see whether it's gonna be quite good. But yeah, the plan is to get through my physical TBR and I'm hoping I can do that in 2023. On Monday next week, I will be posting a 24 hour readathon video, which is my first books that I read in 2023. Spoiler alert, they are in my 2023. For TBR. Guess in the comments which books you think I read. I read two. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And yeah, bye.